Hello beautiful collective and welcome to your general reading. So today we're going to see what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember the end. Oh my goodness, look, it's like me. <laughs> Please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, okay? So feel free to switch the gender, switch the roles. Do what you got to do. Leave the rest. If any of you would like to make a donation, purchase anything or to book a reading, it's all down below in the description box, okay? So before I start this reading, I kept on hearing, um, thank goddess. Because he worships me so much abundance that a bitch can't breathe. Drop to my knees, thank God it's A. Because he worships. So if any of you know that song, that's Queen Herbie. If you don't know about it, get to know about it, okay? I'm always shouting out Queen Herbie and Was I On Key. Those are like my two kind of like underrated artists that I like. But um, yeah, so I'm hearing that thank goddess. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to be like treated like a god or a goddess. I feel like people are going to worship you. Like I'm getting like people worshiping the ground that you walk on. You're just like, that's right. Drop to my knees. Thank God. It's, hey, stop it. Pop it. So I can hear it in my mind. I want to play this song, but you should be on some fucking like copyright bullshit. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to get copyrighted out here. Okay. I'm not trying to get copyrighted out here. Okay. Okay. Sorry. You know what I mean? Just have to just make sure that I mean. Make sure that everything is looking all right. I didn't, not too much boobs today, guys, you know. You know what I mean? People be getting mad as fuck, okay? But, you know, you, you have to have the five. You know why? Because i got the Libra scales here. So, it's like I need that karma, you know what I mean? Anyone who's watching me, i got Libra looking at me right now, okay? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Anyway. <laughs> so, i got a French deck, guys. So I'm going to be... Um, if there's a word that I don't remember or that I don't recognize, I'm just going to be um, using my little French translation thing here, okay? So, um, I'm hearing, um, I love the way you think. Somebody really loves the way that you think, guys. Um, yesterday, I was watching Saw 2 with my little brother. And we tried to move on to Saw 3 and we're like, nah. It's crazy because when I was younger, Saw 2 used to be one of my favorite horror movies, Okay. Uh, when I was watching it, I was like, what the fuck did I like about this movie, right? But it was the cleverness. Because the way that the plot twist was at the end was, like, insane. And there was another series. don't remember what it's called on Netflix. But it's, like, this guy who's on death row. And then he helps other people to solve crimes. But, again, the plot twist. I can't remember what it's called. But it's got the guy from Sherlock Holmes in it. If anyone has watched that, please let me know. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. But that was brilliant. It was like American and English fusion. I hate when they do that because I just hate when like, you know when you're watching an American series and there's like a British person, it's like, why are you here? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why are you here? Like, why are you ruining things? Okay, like, honestly, but that was brilliant. But in Saw 2, it was like, because you know, the thing about um, clever people, whether they're just clever, clever people, masterminds, sociopaths, the thing about them is that they always kind of tell you how to defeat them in some type of way. They always tell them themselves. You just have to be smart enough to know. And, um, and like, you know, I love riddles and psychological things. And in Saw 2, it was like this man knew. He was playing on the fact that... Because he had his son hostage in this house, right? Of, like, horrors. And the guy, the guy was a police officer and he was watching his son on a monitor. And the man that had him hostage, he wasn't telling him where he was. And he said, you know what? All I want you to do, you just have to sit down and just talk to me. That's it. Obviously, he knows you got my son. He knows this man's just not going to sit down and just talk to him. He's like, where the fuck is my son? Da -da -da. He's getting all mad. So in the end, the guy takes him. He's like, okay, only you. I'll take you to where your son is, right? So the other police officers, they're on the monitor, they're watching, and they're like, oh, we can't see you, we can't see you. They get to the house. He's like, okay, where's my son? He goes into the house. In the end, he gets trapped in the house, and the son was originally in the room with him and the man the whole time in the safe, and they released him. Brilliant, okay? But when you watch it, you'll figure out what I'm saying, because there's a lot more to the program, but um, or the, the, the movie, but the fact of the matter is, all he needed to do was just sit down and listen to him, but, it, but because... All he could think about was his son, right? And the man knew that, okay? This man knows, like, people's behavioral patterns and shit. He knew that eventually this man's going to get really frustrated and he's going to take me to... He's going to force me to take him to where his son is. 
not knowing his son was there the whole time but he was literally giving him clues and that's how jigsaw works in saw like he'll give you clues like even in the thing um he was telling the people that were locked in the house like the answer is the back of your mind as in written in the back of their head like okay literally the code that they were looking for was on the back of their head but you have to be, be smart enough to be able to decode so i'm getting somebody here's like a true fucking mastermind right okay i'm getting going back to the reading hidden in plain sight that i done a few days ago or like last week sometime um like where i was giving that example of somebody trying to tempt you with something but it literally says this is poison and they don't understand why you're not taking the bait and you're like because it says it's poison like don't listen to that it's because most people they don't pay attention to the obvious signs so i feel like you pay attention to detail okay you could have um significant scorpio or virgo placements like you don't miss nothing or you see past the veil someone loves that about you okay someone just thinks that you're so clever but i feel like it's sim um you're simple though it's like so simple yet so clever it's just like in your face it's like oh my goodness like you know when someone tells you something oh my goodness it was there the whole time like wow okay so somebody here is like a mastermind but i'm just saying i love the way that you think i just feel like someone just loves the way that you think it's just so clever it's so sneaky but it's so in your face it's just so in your face it's just so in your okay anyway let's move on <laughs> so what is coming towards the beautiful collective so you could be really attracted to somebody's quality you just like the way that someone thinks so you like the fact that somebody's a bit of an enigma you just don't know. You just, you just, you have no idea the, the, the um, depths of somebody's mind. Like honestly, you just, you just don't know. Or they don't know this about you, but this is what they find intriguing. Okay, so this is for my beautiful collective. So let's just see. Hopefully, it's a word that I know. Let's see. Oh, that's obvious to work out. Okay, yes, thank God. <laughs> we have communication. Okay, so somebody wants to communicate. Also, somebody likes the way that you talk okay they like your vernacular they like the words that you use they like your voice they like the tone this could be an accent okay but somebody wants to communicate with you okay it could be somebody that's from a different place or a different culture than you okay somebody also could speak multiple languages i'm also getting something about gemini could be very significant here so communication is coming Okay. Oh, abundance. And the French say abundance, abundance, abundance. Abundance is coming. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of communication. Okay. Now, interesting because this card says solitude, but there's a lot of, you know, there's three women here. Okay. So I'm hearing me, myself, and I. I just heard that Beyonce song. Me, myself, and I. Da -na 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 so this could be you. Maybe you, maybe you're coming out of solitude. But yeah, I'm getting somebody wants to communicate because number three, the third house, um, gemini energy so if you've been in solitude for a long time or you just don't want to speak to people i feel like now it's time to come out of that or somebody wants to come out of hiding somebody wants to reconcile with you somebody doesn't want to be apart from you somebody doesn't want to not speak to you or oh, this is you now for some of you you could be around people you see how like these women are kind of just grabbing onto her you may want your space so it could go the other way. You may want solitude because you've been around people too much. You've been, you could be in communication. Maybe this is something that you do for work. It's like I talk to people all day. I'm around people all day. I just, I just need time for myself. So it could go many different ways. But I'm getting that somebody wants to reconnect with you, okay? This could be your spirit guides as well trying to um, get your attention. So you need to be in solitude to be able to hear the angels around you. Because I literally see two angels are literally around you. They are protecting you. But I'm getting this is this person that wants to talk talk to you. Somebody doesn't want to be away from you. I'm hearing like you, me, and the divine. So I'm getting the Holy Trinity. This could be like sisters, cousins as well. This could be family. It could be anybody. It's going to be different for different people. Yeah, we see love there and then tribe, okay? But I just want one card, please, and thank you. Oh, good God. It just dropped on the floor. One second, guys. Just make sure you don't see my front part. I am wearing knickers though. I'm wearing a thong, but still transformation oh thank god all the words that are in english came out okay <laughs> and then we have energy at the bottom of the deck yeah okay so transformation so i feel like you're going through a change a beautiful change at that look at this look at this beautiful card so i feel like somebody is blossoming beautifully again if you have been in solitude i feel like you're coming out of that or somebody may want to communicate to you about how much they have transformed being alone or being around people or the value of friendship or the value of you okay yeah and energy i feel like you're getting your energy back so like i said for some of you you could have been in hermit mode yeah you could have been resting okay but you're coming out of that yeah 
I'm getting something about a celebratory energy here. Okay, yeah, movement. I just, I'm in love with this deck. Okay, I love French decks. I should have got my other ones, but you know, sure. I should know how to speak French. Bonjour, je m'appelle Leonie. Ça va? <laughs> I should know, but I don't. Because my family, my St. Lucian side, they speak Creole, broken French. But ain't nobody taught me shit. I used to know when I was younger, when I used to be around my grandmother more, because she was always on the phone, just talking in her language. So I used to be able to pick up on shit, but now I don't I don't know shit. I don't know shit about fucking fuck about shit. Okay, so somebody could be getting to learn another language. I also just had Spanish as well. Somebody who could speak Spanish. Hola. That's all I know. <laughs> I remember they were teaching us Spanish when I used to work in this school with the children. They were teaching... There was one lesson where they were teaching Spanish and the other they were teaching Latin. I think Wale in Latin is hello. I can't even remember, you know, that was a long time ago. But anyway, let's move on. So yeah, somebody could be really into like language communication. Somebody could be trying to invent their own language as well. Someone also could be trying to get to know your love language, okay? But yeah, energy, energy, power. So yeah, I feel like some of you have been resting or you need to rest. You know, take a day off or two. I'm getting at least four hours or more you need to rest. You're going to get your energy back, okay? So please call for communication. Somebody has something that they want to see. This could be you chosen family okay it says reconnect with those you love yeah i feel like somebody loves you they want to communicate with you so yeah I'm, I'm getting like gemini energy heavy here i'm getting like the lovers card okay i feel like somebody really wants to be with you or somebody really wants to speak to you again some of you this could be like a sister or a brother or like a best friend somebody wants to talk to you i feel like it's been a while since you've heard from somebody okay or like i said this is somebody who feels like you are their other half they want to be with you okay so please can't find the solitude card okay that was too many cards you know when you just want one card and more than one card comes out you're like what wait a minute what is going on what is going on darling go for it okay it says um successful endeavors lie ahead okay so yeah like i said if you've been in hermit mode or you've been solitude or you want to reconcile with somebody you want to speak to someone like i said this could be a friend go for it so we have a side also as well i feel like for some of you success lies ahead so maybe you feel like you're alone you don't have people you've got people supporting you i just feel like you can't see them go for this opportunity go communicate with this person say what you need to say i'm getting a very successful communication um yeah, very successful communication here. Something is really going in your favor. Beautiful. Uh, and let your ambitions take over. Yes, darling. Yes, honey. Okay. Please come for a transformation. Beautiful energy. I can feel the energy. I can feel, I can feel the energy. Spiritual warrior. Gorgeous. It reads, now is the time to arm up your spiritual resources and connect with yourself. Yeah. So maybe some of you went for a spiritual transformation. You had to build up some type of strength. Like I said, now you got energy. Okay, maybe you had a lot of spiritual attacks or people coming at you. Now you're just like, you know what? I'm ready for uno, you know. I'm ready for uno. I'm ready. Awa. I feel like you can't be fucked with. You are unfuckwithable, undefeatable, undestructible. Or indestructible, should I say. And then we have um, build up your inner strength. Listen, I just said good god i'm on point like a good joint okay i just said that building up your inner strength getting your energy back honestly some of you could be doing like yoga or something i'm getting like stretches okay you're just stretching here then everywhere's like you know what let me just you know i mean just yeah but you're building up that inner strength darling okay you're building up that inner strength darling okay and it's it's showing somebody also could be building up the strength and the courage to come towards you to say something somebody may want to see something then want to see something to oh yeah with the communication yeah maybe somebody has undergone some type of transformation as well somebody has really changed okay can we have another card please and thank you that was too stuck together i just don't have time for that can we just have one card thank you Higher perception, passion, yeah. Oh, someone has been watching you. They want to say something. They've seen something from a different perspective. Also, I feel like someone feels like you are very enlightening. I feel like someone's very passionate about you. Or a very passionate conversation that you're going to have with someone. Very passionate. Okay. 
I'm hearing as above, so below as well. I feel like you feel like someone is just like your other side, your other self. So I'm just getting a beautiful conversation here. Or very passionate. Or like I said, somebody likes the way that you talk. But yeah, someone also feels like you are chosen. I'm hearing like I choose you. Yeah, restoration. I'm saying, I'm, I feel like you're getting your spark back. Some of you could be dealing with like... um like a celebrity or somebody who's in the public's eye or you are or you're in the entertainment industry you could be a presenter or a performer of some kind okay we have um sorry i don't feel like i shuffled the deck properly unconditional love blueprint oh my goodness this is so gorgeous yeah go for it so we have reconnect with those you love and unconditional love so somebody understands that unconditional love is the blueprint i always say that to people it's the venus energy man it's the Venusian energy. So yeah, somebody wants to come together. Somebody doesn't want to be alone anymore. Someone's like, let me spread that love, darling, okay? Or somebody feels like you are the blueprint. The other reading I done the other day, I think it was Venus walks among us. Maybe someone's realizing that about you, okay? Make sure the camera is like... Did I just make it worse? Because sometimes I feel like the camera just be, you know what I mean? Okay, I feel like I just made it worse. It is what it is. Okay. Okay, so what do we have? Please clarify transformation and spiritual warrior. So I feel like you've undergo, you've went through a lot of different things that have like put you into the position of being a spiritual warrior. I'm hearing like um what's that saying? It was like what doesn't kill oh my god, my hair is so messy, you can't even see the pine anymore. What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Yeah. Gorgeous. We have manifest it. Manifesto creation. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, you're very powerful right now. You've gone through a transformation which has given you some type of spiritual power. Somebody here is very spiritually gifted. If you're trying to manifest something right now, I feel like someone's trying to manifest communication. Or somebody may take action. Okay. They're like, fuck all of this manifesting. Fuck all of this techniques. Let me just... See you when we're up once. See ya. Okay. Okay, how was it before? Now I'm just... I feel all, like, nervous and shit. Okay. Honestly. Oh, no. Not too many boobs today. There we go. <sighs> okay. That's better. Like, yeah. Solitude is here again. So some of you could be a hermit right now or you've really done some introspection. Like I said, for some of you, this could be saying that you, like I said, you need to find peace and find balance to get your energy back. Somebody needs to build their inner strength. But I feel like somebody's trying to build their inner strength to come out of solitude because they want to communicate or they know that somebody here, I feel like somebody here needs to be seen. They could have Leo placements. Someone's like running away from being seen. They don't want to communicate. They don't want to talk. They don't want to be heard. But it's like it's part of their destiny. This is something that they have to do. Or you are a part of somebody's destiny. All right. So please clarify higher perception. Passion. Yeah, the six of cups. Okay. So this is somebody from your past that wants to communicate. They're still very passionate about you. They're very nostalgic. This could be someone who's looking in the past communications that you've had with them. They could be thinking about past conversations when you was like you enlightened them. You said something really profound. They're like, oh my goodness. I feel like somebody wants to speak to you about this. This could also be about a child or somebody from your childhood wanting to reconnect as well. Wanting to reach out. You may bump into somebody. Yeah, justice. Okay. It's your karma. Or somebody wants to come and bring you justice. This could be a Libra or a Scorpio that's very significant. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, right on top of unconditional love. Oh my goodness. Somebody has a lot of love that they want to share. You could also be meeting somebody new. And it's just unconditional love from the get-go. But I feel like maybe somebody, um, somebody from your past is coming back because they wanted to start a new beginning with you. This is also you having unconditional love for yourself and just pouring it out. But yeah, saying go for it or go for something that you love to do. This could be singing as well. I'm getting somebody like singing their heart out. Yeah, conversation. Love at first sight with these two cards. So Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, very heavy here. Some of you also could be love being alone. You could love being... Woo-wee! We have the 
two of the king of well good god somebody is in love here somebody is in love somebody loves you they want you we have the eight we have the six of cups the ace of cups the two of cups and the king of cups nothing but cups up on the table all the water signs are here scorpio and cancer is very significant Scorpio is just heavy here, but all water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. There is so much love in this reading. I feel like somebody is completely and utterly in love with you. Or well, this could be a friend as well. You could be getting love from different people. Like I said, this could be this could be you as well having love for your child. Maybe you're reconnecting with your child. Okay. I just heard walking down memory lane. But I'm getting somebody kind of wants to make up here. They kind of want to like, you know, make a truce. I'm just getting like, I love you. Some of you could also be doing love rituals. You're manifesting. But yeah, I feel like love has transformed you. Or love has transformed someone. Or love, somebody's love is transformative. Yeah, definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio here. This is, there, there's just so much love. I just don't even know what else, else to say. I'm just getting the power of love. And it's crazy because I was going to do a love reading for the collective. There's just so much love, but I feel like it's somebody that's either from your past or somebody that you've had a past life connection with. They are just overflowing. If someone's just looking at you, yeah, somebody's admiring you. They're coming towards you with the six of cups. We've got two sixes here. Someone feels like you are their soulmate or you have a soul contract to fulfill with someone. I just feel like somebody's love for you just doesn't run out, man, with these two cards here. Somebody's heart is like pulsating, like heavy when they think about you. So yeah, this could be somebody that's trying to get the strength to say to tell you that they love you. Wow, this is really beautiful. I don't even want to clarify any of these cards. We're just gonna leave the six of cups, the ace of cups, the two of cups, and the king of cups here. This is this is just this is like deep love. Like I just I can feel it. I can feel the love. Like, should I pull a love card? But no, let's just just wow, man gorgeous okay so let's pull some additional messages beautiful the baby has this is my six of cups card it says inner child kindness and imagination yeah i feel like somebody wants to do something really sweet for you now for some of you like i said this could be something to do with your children maybe you're reconnecting with your children maybe you don't live with your kids or you know this could also be something that you've done in your childhood that you're bringing back to life but I'm getting like childhood sweethearts, childhood friends, or someone that makes you feel like a kid again. I just also feel like someone just thinks that you're very childlike and innocent and just sweet. This is so beautiful. Some of you also could work with children. And the children that you work with, they just love you. Like they just, they just adore you. Okay, can I have another cut? Oh my goodness. So much is coming out. So I'm getting so, whoa. I'm getting so much love. Oh my goodness, man. Am I on point or is it the reading? Is it the reader or is it the reading? The hair crush, love, attractions and feelings. Just as I said that. This is on the row of Ace of Cups and Unconditional Love. Somebody is in love with you or you are attracting pure love, unconditional love. Okay. You're a, you feel like you're alone. You're not alone. Somebody here is so in love, man. I just don't know who this is for. I feel like you have a friend that's in love with you or you're attracting a lot of love. You could be attracting multiple different partners, like new and old I'm getting as well. I'm getting there's a Cancer or a Scorpio or a Pisces that is just in love with you. The Scorpio could be from your past. The Cancer could be a new person or the Pisces could be a new person. Or this is all the same person. I just feel like you're just loved up right now. I just feel like you're loved up. Just, just loved up. Just love. Or somebody, like I said, someone is like in solitude. Like, listen, nah, man, I love you. Fuck all of this. Let me just tell you how I feel. Yeah, clarity. Maybe they got some clarity. Or they want to come and give you this. Or someone just feels like you are truly love in like physical form. This is so beautiful. I just want to just cry. Oh, the hair envy, jealousy, spite, and cruelty. The bonnet, mysteries, hidden truth, and the unknown. Yeah, I feel like you have no idea how much 
emotions or how much love this person has for you, how much of this person is hiding. I feel like somebody though, because you know, you know when the reading is really gorgeous and then something just has to turn left, okay? I feel like you've got a lot of people that love you, a lot of people that want you. I feel like there's somebody here that's jealous, that's cool, that's spiteful, that somebody could be trying to do some type of work. But I feel like the bond is too strong. Also, for some of you, you need to protect the love that you have for someone, whether it's a friend, you know, a child, children, or it's somebody in particular. Because I feel like somebody's trying to keep you away from someone. Because we have two cards of solitude. But like I said, this card has a loads of people in it. And this is just, you know, someone's in the dark, like looking over, trying to project solitude onto you. But I feel like you're not, you're supposed to be with somebody or you're supposed to have love in your life whatever type of form whether it's friendship because this could represent friendship or whether it's true love i'm getting true love here now this could have been somebody who was that was in love with you and they were very jealous and spiteful and cruel and this person has gone through a transformation because they had to learn how to be loving how to act with love because love is their blueprint maybe they had inner child wound healing that they needed to heal oh what maybe somebody needs to fix the fuck up like, don't be trying to be in a loving relationship and be on some fucking fuck boy or some fuck girl shit. Don't you hate that? Especially when somebody initiates a, a, a relationship with you. You initiated this, my nigga. You wanted me to be in a, with you, my nigga. And then you want to be all spiteful and cruel. Like, what, 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 what? Make it make sense. So I feel like, yeah, with the clarity, somebody had to make something make sense. And I feel like somebody's realizing I am in love. And if I am in love, I need to be loving. Or there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be jealous of this love that you have. But I don't give a fuck. Show it off. Show it off. Like, nah, 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 nah. I'm in love. The Three of Pentacles is here to say, show that love off. Okay. This could be you online with your babes. Like, yes, boo, this is me and my babe. What the fuck are you motherfuckers going to do? Because it's me and my boo. Oh, honestly. Yeah, energy. I feel like you give power. You give your, your love has power. So it needs to be on display. Somebody may actually say something online to show you how much they love you in front of people. Like, I don't give a fuck. So this is where this envy is coming from. Let people be jealous. Oh, well. Yeah, because I feel like somebody's tired of hiding how they feel about you. Somebody's tired of hiding their love. Somebody's tired of hiding. I forgive myself and others, cultivating inner harmony, yeah. This could be somebody that wants your forgiveness. Like I said, if this was a person that was cool, they understand this. They want to forgive themselves and forgive you or forgive others. Or or like I said, if you have all of this love and everybody's just hating, just forgive them. Just send them a prayer. You know what I mean? Because they're just hating because exactly hate. They don't have love in their life. Therefore, they hate. I mean... It is what the fuck it is. I forgive myself for any past mistakes and move forward. So we got the word forgiveness here twice. So yeah, this could be somebody that wants your forgiveness from something that they've done from the past. Okay. Or this is you, like I said, needing to forgive yourself. Maybe you're the spiteful, evil, jealous bitch. And you need to forgive yourself for not being more loving. Yeah, I am free from self-criticism and embrace self-love. Exactly. So yeah, this could be self-love as well. You know, like I said, you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else. And I am a magnet for positive energy and opportunities. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And I embrace my feelings to unfold. I embrace my feelings, sorry, to allow healing to unfold. Yeah, somebody needs to embrace how they feel. This is a huge cup of feelings here. If you love someone or you love something, admit that to yourself. You're holding that in and then it's transforming literally into hate. Because this is on this row. Because you're holding on to something. You're acting like you don't want something. You don't want somebody. You do. Or somebody wants you. There is so much love here. Like it cannot be denied. Like someone's just holding it. We don't know what's underneath that bonnet. But let me tell you. It's a whole heap of love that's on her mind. Our. Yeah, underneath that we have the rinse literally pouring down. I don't know if you just saw that. So anyway, your magic is working. Yeah. So like I said, for some of you, you may be doing magic protective rituals. If you're trying to attract love, it's coming in. If you need to protect a loving connection from envy, that's what you need to do. 
yeah good luck is on your side exactly so don't worry about that don't worry about hiding someone hiding how you feel hiding like everything's always hidden like listen this is who the fuck i love okay it is what the fuck it is what the fuck you bitch is gonna do about it fuck all is what the fuck period you can't fear things when you fear things you're giving it energy you're giving it your power that's how shit starts to work when you're afraid this is why they say to be courageous you're courageous when people are courageous and everything right people become afraid of them people fear the fearless because the fearless don't give a fuck what what, what what are you fucking doing with your little fucking spell work and your little candles bitch and if you are someone that's afraid of that type of shit then protect it you know protect your um connections and stuff okay i'm trying to look for my other deck i can't find it i was just using it before oh there it is okay all right what angel is around this we have um yeah the angel of integrity stay true to your soul exactly stay true to yourself true to your emotions okay and the angel of evolution consider who you want to be exactly do you want to be a hateful bitch or do you want to be a loving bitch do you want to surround yourself with hateful people or do you want to surround yourself with loving people period and yeah the angel of self-esteem you are always enough yeah pour into yourself you're enough so maybe your self-esteem has been knocked down maybe you feel like someone doesn't love you they do Maybe somebody's been cruel and evil and spiteful. You're like, why do I receive hate from a person I love or from people? If I'm always supposed to be loved, if I'm the goddess of love, if I'm made up of love, then why go on? Where's the love? That's what it is. People, I always say that people are trained to love, to hate love. Period. But I think about the number five. I think about Oshun. That's her number. Oshun is the goddess of love, beauty, abundance, ruled by Venus, Taurus energy. I always say this, Friday is on the fifth day of the week. Moon day, Mars day, Mercury day, Jupiter day, Venus day. Transform the way you think about love. Because the number five has changed, but it's also a loving energy. And interestingly enough, because I'm sure that Yamaya, Yamoja, Yamaya's number is seven. Venus rules the seventh house and she rules well some say she rules cancer and some say she rules pisces i just say both of them because pisces cancer is the mother which is what your your, your your maya is but pisces she's the mother of the fish i think her mean i think omoya maya means um mother to those who are fish or something like that she's a mermaid so yeah pisces fish you know but anyway, um, why am I saying all of that? Oh, right, to just talk about the number five and change. Like, yeah, someone is afraid of change because they've been taught to fear change. They've been taught to fear love. Love is the blueprint, as it says. Love is unconditional. All of us have love in them heart. Our. Beautiful. Heritage. Your ancestors are so proud of you for you are proud of, your, of yourself. And you see, on that thing, she's holding a purple flag saying black is beautiful and purple is representation of royalty regalness also intuition she's in tune with her ancestors she's saying i'm beautiful i'm walking around proud as fuck your ancestors are proud as fuck okay because they understand that you know that you're the blueprint for the melanated people there's no self-hate here did i premiere i don't think i premiered yet premiered it yet the video of um the war on black beauty on my other channel i don't think i've showed it yet wow just as i said that i swear to god i didn't even see this right beauty pretty as a picture and then we have envy they're jealous but what else is new hate is gonna hate they're jealous because you're beautiful or because you have a beautiful connection or because the beauty of the love that somebody has for you man like i said there's gonna be a lot of envy be beautiful anyway be loving anyway people are also jealous of your heritage of your beauty of where you come from because you don't have self-hate people hate the fact that you don't have self-hate why don't you hate yourself we're taught to hate ourselves we're taught to hate our natural hair we're taught to hate ourselves we're only taught to love our tits and our ass and all the sexual attributes of melanin but the skin ill the hair ill 
Ew yourself, bitch. If you're a self-hating coon, get the fuck off this channel, bitch. Okay? Awa. It's a disrespect to the ancestors. Disrespect. I might have to um, find that. Because I don't know if I uploaded it. I uploaded it. I don't think I premiered it, premiered it yet. So I'm definitely going to premiere that. But anyway, stay love to your... Stay truthful and loving okay there's a lot of love here there's also a lot of envy see when the envy starts coming through then i start channeling different because i can feel the envy already like this was a beautiful reading there's always has to be some bullshit all right so let's pull a loving card let's see what this loving person wants to say to you i'm sorry yeah somebody wants your forgiveness so this could have been this person that was on some bullshit maybe your lover was jealous of you they were envious because you're very beautiful. So this could have been someone that was very protective. Don't want you to be seen. Yeah, the hidden truth. Somebody wants to hide you because they're jealous. Bitch, if you love me, you got to love all of me in front of everybody. And that's just the way it go. That's the way it steer. So it steer, so it go, so it look. Our beauty is to be admired. But somebody wants to say sorry. They want your forgiveness. We already established that. Um, I want to move in with you. So somebody wants to have share a home with you or a life with you. And I forgive you. Wow, I'm sorry and I forgive you. Yeah, I just said there's going to be forgiveness. I am just on point. Someone feels like you're on point. So I feel like if you, like I said, I feel like you you could be fearing a con how a conversation is going to go. Communicate. Speak your truth. You know, I feel like somebody wants to communicate that they're sorry. And I feel like she's going to say I forgive you or he's going to say I forgive you. And then, yeah, I can't explain how I feel about you. That's the mutual energy. Yeah, there's like a, like I said, there's an unconditional bond between you and somebody. I feel like someone is trying to sever it. Someone can't, can't explain how they feel, but there is feelings there. And then the entrepreneur, this could be you receiving a lot of love at work as well. Somebody, yeah, divine feminine, but they're on the bottom of the duck. Oh, uh. Somebody here is divine and fine, okay? And aligned. Did we have the spiritual warrior? Yeah, in this reading. You are a divine feminine. I feel like you're going to be like, this is like em the front. Look, look at this. This is empress energy. So I feel like you're going to be receiving a lot of love at work. If this isn't love like um from a particular person, this is a lot of people. They want to love you. They want to tell you how much they love you. So people are going to be very jealous about all the attention and all the love that you're getting. Fuck them. Okay, the entrepreneur it means working for yourself, not other bitches, not in competition with anybody else. This is your business. Your, the way you want to do things, do it how the fuck you want to do it. The throne is here for you. It's empty. There's only one throne, only one chair in this card for the divine feminine. The divine feminine is ready to take a seat. Our, or masculine if you're watching this. Because I feel like maybe you work for yourself or you're trying to get something off the ground and you're getting a lot of envy. Now, people could be very sorry for being envious of you as well. Because I feel like people need you or they look up to you with the spiritual warrior there. So people could be feeling very regretful. But I'm getting a lot of hate. But I'm getting so much love, man. I'm getting so much love. The love um, overrides the hate. So it's okay. Or like I said, somebody wants forgiveness for being hateful. Okay, so this could go a multitude of different ways. You know, just... Just take it how it resonates. Hey, I just take it how it resonates. Now, let's just pull one more card because I really love this deck. So, let's just pull one more. Take the lead. Be a powerful force in your own right. Exactly. Some of you are here to be a boss. Take the lead. You're a leader. You're a natural born leader. Some of you could have Aries placements. You can, you could have life path number one. That means you are a natural born leader. You could have Aries in your 10th house. You are destined to be a leader. You are destined to lead. Period. However the fuck you want to do it. Do you think Aries listens to anybody? No. People listen to Aries. Period. Our... Oh, uh, it says um, build up your inner strength. Yeah, I feel like you need to build up your inner strength, your inner power. Raise your self-esteem. Okay, remind bitches who the fuck you are and where the fuck you come from. Okay. Our right. Because remember, good luck is on your side. Yeah, underneath that, it says a wish is coming true. Be grateful. And yeah, you need to express how you feel. So like I said, somebody needs to express how they feel. If it's their emotions. Maybe this is this person. I'm jealous or afraid of your power. They're afraid of you becoming seen and being successful. 
But it's like, you know what? We could be successful together, baby. Like, I can't be with someone who's going to be hating on my career and shit. Fuck you mean. Empress don't, don't hate on the Empress. And the Empress doesn't hate on the Emperor. If somebody's hating, then they're not. You know what I mean? They may be fine, but are they divine? Are they aligned? That's the question. Okay? That's the question. Okay? That's the question I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, guys. All right. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. No, not comment because I'm not having the comments on for a while because people just ch chat far ton fuckery. And I'm not interested to hear what people have to say. Okay? Bye!